This is Big Papa here, showing you pond number two. And he's standing on it, 240 pounds. It's solid. As you can see, there you go. Back to rock. I'm going to tell you three or four easy steps how to keep your fish alive in the winter. Number one, shut your filter off. Definitely. You got to shut your filter off. I'm going to tell you why. If you look right here, that that's the line coming into the pond. If you look right here, the water is fine. Now that water is going to pump into this filter and it's going to pour right back into your pond. But this line right here will freeze. If that freezes, there's only one way for the water to go back. It's going to go right back in here and spill out. And your pond is going to get empty like the one in the back that I had showed you. That has four inches of water. You don't want that and your fish will die. Step number two. Um, run a little pump. See right here? See where the water is circulating? If you look right here, it's not, nothing's freezing there. Right? Because it's circulating constantly, constantly. So it's not going to freeze. And step number three, run an air, um, aerator, a bubbler, that's to give the fish oxygen and they'll be okay. And number four, do not feed your fish. It's okay. Do not feed your fish. Keep the fish. It's cold out here. Do not feed the fish. When you feed the fish, they're going to get sick and, and definitely going to die. So you don't want that. And the fish are, they're meant not to eat in the winter. They don't eat in the winter. Last time I fed them was in November. Next time I'm going to feed them is in April. They're not going to die. If you feed them, they're going to get sick. Their digestive system doesn't work that way. They, they can't eat in the winter. They will get sick and they can die. So those are four easy steps. I'm going to get off this ice because the sun is out and it could melt. You never know. But anyway, I'm getting off. And I'm going to show you here that it's still frozen like a rock. And those are the four easy steps of keeping. This part is only... 14 inches, 15 inches, and under here it's solid. But if you go back, I got a foot break there, and that goes back down three feet. And that's where my fish are at, right under that rock. Directly right under there, that's where they're at. They're not under here, because this is almost touching the ground. They go to the back, so definitely make your pond at least three foot deep, so your fish can survive, you know? And like I said, that waterfall right there looks really cool. I leave that all year long. I never shut that off. I clean it out. Take the pup out, a little toothbrush in the spring, clean it up, and that's it. Put a little cover on it, and I run it all year long. I never shut that baby off. And believe it or not, this, that filled that little uh, pump, you can buy it on Amazon cheap. Pay like $20, I think, for it. Three years running, and I had no problem with it. The fourth year, that was it. I bought another one. Not a big deal. So it's like I said, another four years. And here you go. Out of frozen, don't be afraid of setting up a pond and worrying about the winter because they're gonna survive in the winter too. A little poop right here, and it's, it, it's cold out here. It wasn't like yesterday, but it, it, it's cold. Got at least 10. Big Papa signing off. Don't forget to subscribe.